Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Jenny, Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Eva, Stephanie, Joanna. Listen. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Do me a favor to activate your camera, please. Remember, it's important. Let us wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar dos minutos de manera que la mayoría se pueda conectar y, y empecemos de la mejor manera, ¿ok? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Let us wait a little bit. In like one or two minutes, and then we're going to start with the class itself. Teacher. Hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. Good evening, teacher. It's raining very hard. It's raining there. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it. Hopefully, you are not going to face any any trouble, any any technical problem. Okay, so try to to stay connected. Try to. Hopefully, we are not going to face any problem tonight. Let me see. I have 11 people and stick waiting for Eva. Hello, Eva. Roxana is just getting into the class. Carla is over there. Hello, Carla. Joanna. Do me favor to Hello, good evening. Do me a favor to activate your, your camera. Hello, hello. Melissa. Okay, Ana Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. I can good see evening. Eva also. Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Now, really, really nice to see you. Okay, we're going to start. Okay, just right now. I will check list attendance and then we're going to start. So, say hello. Tell me I'm present. Oh, here, I, here it's 10. Mm, well, today is Tuesday, September the 5th. Uh, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Ana Maria. Garcia de la Cruz. Ana Maria Emily. Carlos David. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ana María Emily. Sí, I'm here. Okay. Carlos David. Daniel Alejandra. Well, Carlos David is not over here. Daniel Alejandra. Diana Saray. Diana Saray. So Diana Sarah is not here. Emma. Okay. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisette. 
Hello, Gabriela. Jacqueline Janet. Joana Guadalupe. Carla Olivia. Present. Okay, Carla Guadalupe. Olivia is over here. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Ruth Noemi. Zaira. Zaira yeah. Abigail. Okay. Sara Vanessa. Yeah. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Okay, Swanny. I'm here. Wilder. William Vladimir. Present. Okay, William Alfredo. Eh, Chancy Stephanie. And Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, very good, Jenny. Now, let's see, we're gonna start as soon as possible. I, I, tell me. Eh, eh, good evening. Good evening. Eh, no me había logrado conectar, yo soy la segunda de la lista. Ana María. Sí, Ana María. Ok, Últimamente gracias. estoy teniendo un poco de problema con el internet, uh, pero sí, estoy present, teacher. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Ana María García. Yes. Excellent, very good. Thanks for letting me know about it. Okay, let's get down to business. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, let's get down to business. Now, well, yesterday we were talking about some vocabulary. Now, tell me 10 words you learned yesterday, Jenny. 10 new words that you learned uh, yesterday. Sorry, teacher, I no me pude conectar. Ah, you couldn't. Okay, Rosa Feliciana, tell me 10 new words you learned yesterday. Thank you. Ten new words. De las que hablamos ayer. Yeah, please. Um, newspaper. Newspaper. Food train. Two. A classroom. Three. Grandmother. Four. Birthday. Five. Bathroom. Six. Keyboard. Seven. Policeman. Eight. Uh, Suburban. Nine. Waterfall. And ten. Waterfall. Thank you, Rosa. Okay. Uh, Carla Olivia, go ahead with the teeny words. I don't remember what. You don't remember? Okay, try to remember, Carla, okay? Because I will get back. Emma, take new words. Yeah, uh, that we learned yesterday. Ah, you couldn't. Okay, so fortunately you are here now. Okay, people, who remembers about vocabulary? Okay, the band. Okay, Alex? Let's know about it, Alex. Uh, a bank. Okay. A drugstore. Two. A post office. Three. A gas station. Four. A restaurant. Five. A bookstore. Six. A department store. Store department store and, seven uh, supermarket supermarket eight 
two more. Um, let, let me see. Okay, Stephanie says police station, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Let us listen to Roxana. Roxana, go ahead. Okay. Um, dining room. Dining credit, room. Credit card. Credit card. My Two, room. Three. Bus pass. Four. Swimming pool. Five. Stop seeing. Six. Sunburn. Seven. Baseball. Eight. Stop mm -hmm. sign. Nine. Security guard. Yes, security guard. That's number 10. Thank you. Daniela, go ahead, Daniela. <coughs> Ten new words. Keyboard. Keyboard. Sunburn. Sunburn. Two. Roller coaster. Three. Dining room. Four. Footprint. Five. Grandmother. Six. Bathroom. Seven. Birthday. Eight. Dollar power. Nine. Golf ball. Alarm. Thank you pretty much, Daniela. Alex, I I saw you wanted to participate, Alex. Okay. Um, bakery. Bakery. Bar. Bus station. Okay, that's number two, bus station. Butchers. Three. Coffee. Four. Church. Cafe, right? Four. Court. Okay, five. Uh, cinema. Six. Or movie. Gym. Seven. Hairdressers. Eight. Hospital. Nine. Hotel. Hotel. Gallery. Ten. Eleven. Green grocers. Twelve. Grocer, grocery store. A grocery store, right? Jail, jail or jail prison or prison very good so that's okay we, we, we started yesterday thank you alex thank okay. you same. thank you thank you pretty much alex thanks thank you teacher. thank you now i will share something to you so that maybe we can like remember more Information about the topic we started yesterday. Mm -hmm. So give me a second, please. Okay, so we're here. Now, yesterday we were also studying about material like this. Okay, so uh, how do you pronounce this? Aspirin. Aspirin. What about this uh, one? Bread. Bread. What about this? A dictionary. A dictionary. Gasoline. Gasoline. Number four. Gasoline. Number five. A sandwich. A sandwich. Number six. A sandwich. Okay. Traveler ships. Good. Now you remember about it. Now let us see if you remember something else about yesterday's class. Now, what is this? A bank. A bank. A bank. This one? A drugstore. A drugstore. Let us see. Drugstore. Hey. A drugstore. Then we have. A bookstore. A bookstore. Uh, bookstore. Uh, bookstore. A drugstore. A then we office. have uh, post this one. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. A gas station. 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 Now gas listen. Station. What when you have two, two sounds here, you need to blend. You need to link. A gas and you, you need to pronounce it like one is gas station, gas station, a gas station. A gas station. A gas station. Yeah, don't say a gas station. A gas station. No, a gas station. 
A gas station. A gas station. station. Excellent. Very good. Now, where is the this one? A restaurant. A restaurant. That's a restaurant. Let's see if we can see more. This one? A bookstore. That's a bookstore. The department store. Department store. And the last one? Supermarket. A supermarket. Very good. Now, question, people. Oops. What did I do? That's all here. Now, why do we go to a bank? What is the reason for, for going to a bank? Uh -huh. If I need a money. So I go to a bank when I need to withdraw some money. Okay. I go to a bank when pay I pay bills. Okay. Some money. Some money. Hey, why do we go to the drugstore? We need Medicine. Medicine. Okay, we go to the drugstore whenever we want to buy some medicine. Good. Why do we go to a post office? A post office. Okay. Uh, I go to the post office when I need to send a letter. All right. I go to the post office whenever I need to send a letter. Great. Okay, when do we go to the gas station? When we need uh, gasoline. When we need some gasoline. Uh, when do we go to a restaurant? Um, I went, when I have hungry. I celebrate birthday. <laughs> ah, when having cele when birthday I celebrations. With my friends. When I have some meals mm -hmm. with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. When do we go to the bookstore? When we need to buy the book. Can we get a dictionary there? Yes. Yes, we can. Hey, when do we go to the department store? The department store. I go to the department store when I need to buy some clothes. Wow, fantastic. When do we go to a supermarket? When we need to buy some milk, I need some food. When I need to buy food, when I need to buy food, when I need to buy different things, good. Well, you were very concentrated yesterday. Congrats. So, we're gonna see the information over here. So, we're gonna try to somehow introduce. The topic for tonight that's about prepositions of place. Now, what is what is like uh, the objective? Well, let us read it. Uh, at the end of this lesson, you are going to be, or you will, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. That's the purpose, right? Prepositions of place. Do me the favor to pay special attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled It's Across from the Park. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna repeat people be ready with this part. Let's listen and practice. Here we go. Excuse me, can you help me? Uh -huh. what is the question? Excuse me, can you help me? Can help you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? Can you help me? me? Can you help me? Good. Excuse me, can you help me? Next part. Is there a public restroom around here? Uh huh. Is there a public restroom around here? Let's continue. 
A public restroom? Public restroom? Uh huh. I'm sorry. A public restroom. A public restroom? Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't need a restroom. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Good. Then we have the other one. Oh, no. My son oh, needs no. a restroom. My son needs a restroom. Excellent. Oh, no. My son needs a, a restroom. Well, there's Wait. a restroom in the department the store on Main Street. There's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Main well, there's a restroom in the department store in the Main Street. On Main Street, right? Where on Main Street? Huh? Where on Main Street? We're on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner it's of the corner Main of Main and First Avenue. Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. the corner of Main and First Avenue. Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. Yes. You can't miss it. Uh huh. Yes. It's you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, okay, I'd like to part. talk about prepositions of a place. Let's practice the following prepositions and, and phrases. On. On. On the corner of. On the corner of. Repeat. Across now. from. Across from. Next to. Next to. Between. Between. The department store is on Main Street. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's, across it's next the park. to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the local you just mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. Pay attention. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. Next to the bank. Pay attention. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Between. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on, on? to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus, gas station. Gas Gus, station? Gas station. Gas station. On First Avenue. Where is it? It's on First the US Post Office. Avenue. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Main and First. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. Pay attention. The movie theater. The movie theater, where is, is it? Is on the corner of Park Street it's on the corner and of Park Main Street? Street. And Main Street. The supermarket. The supermarket. Is on the corner of Main Street. Main Street. And second avenue. And second avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Next to. Our example shows the next department to. store is next to the bank. Next to the we can together, also right? say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Next Finally, to. the preposition between. Between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. All right. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, 
try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is the gas station? Uh -huh. Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So I think it's been enough, right? So let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions. No, thank of you. Place. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. We need we need to continue with something else. Mm, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. So, uh, well, as you can see, uh, um, over here we have the conversation, right? So the one that we just practiced. And also we have uh, the information that was presented in the video. Over here. Sorry, over here, you will notice that we say all. Um. Main Street. Main Street. Yeah, Main Street. It's on Main Street. Now, Main where Street. is it located? It's on the corner of First <laughs> Avenue, and Main Avenue and Main Street. So it's it. and Main Street. It's on Main Street. It's over here. It's on Main Street. It's on Main Street. It's on the corner of, you know, it's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. First Avenue. Uh -huh. Across from, now you see. The park. Now you see, this is across from. It's mm. across from the park. Across from the park. Across from the park. Next to the barn. What is next to the barn? The barn is between the permanent store. The permanent store and the restaurant. Excellent. Okay, next to? Um, in between. Uh -huh. between. Between, next to in between. between. Good. Pretty good. Now let us identify some places over here. Listen. Now, if I ask you about the gas station, where do we get to the gas station? Oh, where, where, where is the gas station located? The gas station is in front of the hospital. It's in front of, it's on First Avenue in front of the hospital. Pretty good. Now, where is, for example, uh, the drugstore? The drugstore is on the corner of Long Avenue and Center Street. In Center Street, good. Second Avenue, Center Street, good. Now, where is the the the, the, the apartments? No, where where is the department store? First store is on next to City Bank. Next to the City Bank, pretty good. Where is the parking lot? It's the parking. Avenue. It's on First Avenue. Okay, pretty good. So most of it, we saw most of it. Okay. Now, give me a second. We will continue. I have some prepositions that you need to know. Prepositions of place and direction. So this is what we are studying. I will go directly to them so that you can identify about prepositions of place. We have in, we have between, by, on, at, under, and that's it, right? And we have on, on also. On. In. Uh huh. Now, did you get it? Now, in the other one, we have prepositions of directions. We have after. OK, 
Can you repeat this? After, 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 after around, 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 inside, inside, inside up, 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 along, along, along across, 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 down, 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 across once again, across, across into, 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 and from. And from. from. Okay, now we have something else here. Okay, this is important. I will share the link to you so that you can uh, put into practice and read the information in detail. It's important for you to read it. So we have in, and we often use, use it to describe a confined region. The keys are in the car. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Uh, they, they are in the car. Now, at, often used to address to a specific topic. They welcome us at the door. At the door. On, often used to show whenever something touches anything. Put my phone on, on the desk. About greater in comparison to a different thing. The box is above the book. Over, often used to indicate that anything is above. The students in the class above are very helpful. Pretty good. Then we are under. Okay, let's repeat under. 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 Below. Below. To. To, from, 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 into, into, out of, out of, of through, 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 across, across, across. besides, 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 in front of, in front of, behind, behind, behind towers, 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 and by, by, and I think we have more. No. That's enough, right? So we have this, we have this. Prepositions of place. Okay, we're gonna solve the, the, the knowledge check, uh, check. Here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, be exposed to listen to an audio. Okay, and over here you need to um, let us know about where they are addressing. For example, where are they going? Uh, maybe to the department store, maybe to the park, maybe to Maria's restaurant. You are going to let us know about it. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Number one. Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Excellent. Number one. Number two. Two. <laughs> is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd <laughs> Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Number three. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Yes, Thanks. it is. Okay, number four. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. Pretty good. Now, I, I hope you, that you could listen to it perfectly. 
Now tell me about the about the place they are going in the number one. The ah, they are going to the bank. Where are they going in the conversation number two? They are going to Madrid's restaurant. Where are they going in the number three? The bank. 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 Or Maria restaurant. The bank. The bank. Okay, I will choose one. Some people say the bank. Number four, where are they going? The restaurant. Favorite shoes. To Maria's restaurant or Maria. their favorite shoes? My favorite Maria. shoes. Maria. Okay. Now, okay. we're going to check. Take a look. Number one, number four is okay. Number three is okay. Number two is all right. And number one, it's okay also. Wow. So you don't like to get less than 10 people. <laughs> okay, so it was, it's been really nice. So in the menu, and let me see if I get what I was just thinking about. Mm, okay. Now, in English, we can uh, give some directions. Ask and also give directions to somebody. And the information is over here. The direction. How, this is a question that you may ask whenever you are looking for a place. What, oh, how do I get to the Rockefeller Center? Possible answers. Walk up, go up, uh, turn left, and it's on your right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down, go down Fifth Avenue, turn right on the, on the 42nd Street, and it's on the left. Now, did you finish? Well, yes, I did. Okay, so let me see. I have some exercises. Over here. Now, tell me, people. Over here, we have directions. You are the only thing you need to do is to tell me if it is true or, or if it is false. And the Nagua, there is a bank on King Street. True or false? False? It's true. It's true. Now, there is a bank on King Street. False. It's true. A bank? No, false. Okay, it's false. The petrol station is near the library. False. False. There is a supermarket ne next to the hospital. True. True. False. The museum is between the library and the train station. True. That is true. True. The park is opposite to the bank. False. 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 The baker is between the car park and the petrol station. Is... True. 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 We're almost done. We're almost done. And the next one, there is a restaurant on the car the road. Restaurant. Yes. True. True. True or false? True. True. 
The airport is near the, the, the train station. True. Uh, there is a journey next to the park. A journey. Next to the park, that's true, right? And the museum is opposite to the library. It's false. 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 Okay, false. Okay, let us see. Let us check. Wow. Hey, we missed one. Okay, which part? This part, right? This one, right? There is a restaurant. This was false. There is a restaurant on the Cardiff Ropes. Let me see. It's a restaurant? Yes, right? That is true. The bank is true. Yeah, it is true, actually. Okay, now listen to this. And we are going to try to finish with this. Now, you, we, you have some numbers so in here. So, number four, number five, number six, number 14, number 15. Number 13, number 12, number 8, number 7, number 3, and number 2. Number 1 is the castle. Number 9 and number 11. So what are we going to do? Now that you identify the numbers, we're going to listen to, and then you will tell me about it, about the number they are referring to. For example, listen. Excuse me. Number 1. Do you know where can I find a supermarket? Go straight on. It's over there. On your left. Past the shoe shop. What number? What number is he? 1911. Uh -huh. is, is that number five? No, listen to it, please. Excuse me. Do you know where can I find a supermarket? Go straight on. It's over there. On your left. Past the shoe shop. Okay. Answer number? Five. Five. Oh, yes, right. Number five. Post office. Listen. Can you tell me the way to the post office? Take the first turning on the right. It's next to the church. It's next to the church. Number? Eight. 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 Listen to the next one, please. Car park. Car park. Excuse me. Is there a car park near here? Go straight on. Walk past the church. It's the first building on your right. Opposite the museum. Number? 14. 14? 14. Okay. Train station. Where is the train station? Turn right and walk along Castle Street. It's between the park and the castle. Number? Number two. 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 Number two. Chemist. Could you tell me how to get to the chemist, please? Walk along this road. It's on your left, past the hospital. Number? Number, number five. 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 Um, you say number five. Chemist. That's the chemist. A hotel. Pay attention to the hotel. Can you tell me where the Princess Hotel is, please? Take the first turning on the right. It's opposite the castle. Mm -hmm. Number. Number nine. nine. Say number nine. And the last one, restaurant. The restaurant near here. Go straight on and take the second turning on the right. And then turn left into Newton Street. It's next to the petrol station. Okay, number? 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11
Five and six. Five and six. Five yes. and six. Six over right here. No. Uh, I saw it here, right? In the Fourteen. 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 The chemist. Yes. Yes. The fourteen. So we we'll try once again. Seventy-eight. So what happened? What? Number five. Six. That's because I have it twice, right? Five and five. The car. Eleven. No. 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 Thirteen. Listen to the number. Listen 13. to this one. Excuse me, is there a car park near here? Go park. straight on. Walk past the church. It's the first building on your right. Opposite the museum. Opposite uh, the museum. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. So let us do something it's because of the time. And it's because over here it's raining a lot. I will share the link. Well, actually, I will check, I will share both links. Fíjense que está lloviendo muy, muy fuerte acá. Esperaría yo no tener ningún problema técnico. Pero acaso, si acaso no tuviese, que primero Dios no va a ser así. Yo les voy a compartir los enlaces que hemos estudiado en esta noche. Y me ayudan a completarlos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Uh, let me see, one, two. Ah, this is the other one. Hay que memorizarse las, las preposiciones del lugar porque nos van a servir mucho más adelante. Ok. So, meanwhile, you do so. Let's do something here. So, we have been studying about prepositions of place tonight. We also talk about, about this uh, activity, so we will solve it. And you know, for tomorrow we're gonna, ah, and also the conversation. And I forgot to tell you that one of your homework is to learn the conversation. Let me see, I have it here, the manual. Give me a second, please. They have the manual. Uh -huh. And the conversation that you are going to put into practice is right. So I saw it. It's over here. Ah, this one is the one. Okay, esta conversación la van a practicar mucho. Mañana me la van a, a producir. Okay. Eso está en la página 89 del. Um, de la guía ok ok Be besides okay. that besides that let me see because I have something else here mm. preposition oh, ok No, I think we, we are done with it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit. Mientras eh, paso lista, ustedes por favor eh, completen las actividades de la plataforma. Las actividades de la plataforma. Voy a pasar lista, ok. Mientras ustedes tienen cinco minutos para trabajar en plataforma. Voy a dejar de compartir. Voy a pasar lista nuevamente. 
fíjense que acaba de caer una tormenta muy, muy fuerte y esperaría que logremos cerrar la sesión con éxito. Eh, Abigail. Abigail Elizabeth. Ana María. I'm here. Ana María Emily. Yeah, I'm here. Carlos David. Carlos David. Daniel Alejandra. Diana Saraí. Emma. Eva. Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, you know, it's raining, it's raining a lot here. So let me see, once again, I have Carlos David, Daniela. I am here. Ah, Daniela, so here, good. Uh, Diana Saraí. Emma. Eva, Gabriela Lisset. Present. Okay. Here Eva. I am. Gabriela, okay, very good. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Janet. Joana Guadalupe. Carla Olivia. Present. Present. Uh, Joana is there. Yes. Uh, Carla Olivia. I'm here. Good. Melissa. Present. Raúl. Present, teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Eh, Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana. Present, teacher. Ruth, Ruth Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Zaira. Present teacher. Zaira, so here. Very good. Excellent. And Sara Vanessa. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Stephanie. Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Swanny, Wilder, Wilder, present teacher. Okay, very good. William Vladimir, present. William Alfredo, present teacher. Jancy, present. Thank you, William. Yes, is there also and Jenny? Present. Good. Okay, so Teacher, hello. Silvia Campo. Huh? I am Silvia Campo. Silvia. Give me a second, Silvia. Uh, um, Silvia Noemi. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now thank anybody you. anybody else? Abigail Elizabeth. Carlos David, Diana Saraí, Jacqueline Janet, Rosa Elizabeth, Sara Vanessa. Okay, so I think we are over. We are done with it. So, listen, uh, people, we're going to talk a little bit. We still have like five minutes. And... Now, bueno, quiero felicitarlos porque prácticamente eh, en las sesiones ustedes eh, se, se desenvuelven muy bien, a pesar de que pues, se les habla a un 99% en el idioma inglés, 
y yo veo que la mayoría responde bien. Espero que lo continúen haciendo de esa manera. Eh, la idea es de que ustedes se, se acostumbren a, a estar en contacto con el idioma eh, y que aunque no comprendan todo, porque este, algunos, algunos por ahí escriben, ah, pues no le entendí mucho al teacher o le entendí pues un que un 50% un no sabemos verdad pero eh, es algo muy normal si no comprenden todo uh, al 100% pues no se preocupen porque es parte del proceso lo importante es que ustedes se mantengan en contacto con, con inglés con el idioma y eso implica que, digamos, en el lapso del día ustedes bien pudieran aprenderse una canción en inglés, eh, un, leer un cuento en inglés, um, hacer algunos ejercicios en la web. ¿Por qué no? Si este, tienen toda la libertad de hacerlo. Mientras más aprendan ustedes, nosotros vamos a estar más satisfechos. ¿Ok? Recordemos que es una hora diaria, de lunes a jueves, pero... Um, si sí, es necesario ustedes pueden hacer un, un repaso por ustedes mismos buscando ejercicios en la red no sé si hay algún comentario respecto a cómo hemos venido desarrollando las clases um, alguna pregunta ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna, alguna, um, ¿Algún comentario? Uh, ¿Me escuchan? Hello, hello. Hello, people. Hello. Mm, Roxana. Okay, can you listen to me? Me oyen? Yes. Ahorita sí, Ahora sí, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, Rosa, I got it. Sí, es eh, justamente por eso, es por la lluvia, ¿verdad? Uh, esperemos que uh, logremos, logremos terminar un par de minutitos más y podremos cerrar la sesión. Solo vamos a esperar que se cumplan, digamos un poquito más de los 60 minutos por los cortes que hemos tenido y eh, yo pueda subir sin ningún problema la, la sesión um, les decía yo que ahí es importante que, que nos ayuden a, a completar los ejercicios de la plataforma recuérdense que ahí quedan registrados sus esfuerzos los ejercicios y este y hay un porcentaje mínimo, ¿verdad? Que yo les dije a un inicio que se debe cumplir, que es el 80%. Si alguno pues todavía no, no ha completado las primeras uh, ejercicios, pues háganlo. Porque yo luego lo voy a reportar. Voy a reportar sus avances. Uh, tarea. Ya saben que les queda tarea la conversación de la página 89. No sé si hay dudas, preguntas, comentarios. Ajá, eh, Joana. Como esta semana hay que hacer el examen, ¿verdad? Ya para ah, ir adelantando. Muy bien, excelente, Joana. Fíjense que Pueden adelantar el midterm. Esta semana es para el midterm también, ¿verdad? Entonces, el midterm yo lo tengo planificado que lo desarrollemos el día jueves. Por ende, solicito que el día miércoles ya esté, ya esté completo. Ok, miércoles completo, jueves lo desarrollamos como grupo y ahí vamos viendo que, que podemos este, sacarle de provecho a la actividad. ¿De acuerdo?
Hello. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hello, hello, Rosa. Eh, los los links que nos mandó son para practicar eh, sobre los ejercicios. Exacto, Rosa. Por ahí les compartí, si mal no recuerdo, son tres enlaces. A mí siempre ah, me okay. gusta como tener este, unos ejercicios extra para que ustedes puedan eh, seguir, ¿verdad? Después de la clase, seguir eh, practicando. Ok. Gracias. Ok, Perfecto. Silvia. Rosa, ¿alguna duda? Ok, people, if, we, if you don't have any questions, so we're going to stop on here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá y espero verlos el día de mañana. Okay, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, good, night. good night. Good night. God bless you, teacher. God bless you. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Hey, good night, good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. A mí ahora me comenzó otra vez. Bien fuerte. Sí, Ay, el cambio de clima. Vayan a enfermar los demás de la casa. Sí, cabal. Sí, es de cuidarse. Sí, porque dicen que hay muchos casos de COVID también. También. Uh -huh. Ay, no. Tenemos que cuidarnos. Sí, cabal. <risa> que sí. Igualmente. Buenas noches. Feliz noche.